In this question, we want to use the intercepts to graph the equation. I'll start by finding the x-intercept. The way you find an x-intercept is by letting y equal 0. This would give 2x minus 0 equals 4 when I substitute a 0 in for y. 2x minus 0 is 2x, and I can divide both sides by 2 to get x equals 2. So I have an x-intercept at the ordered pair 2, 0. Then I want to find the y-intercept. You can find a y-intercept by letting x equal 0. Substituting an, a 0 in for x would give me 2 times 0 minus y equals 4. 2 times 0 is 0, and 0 minus y is negative y. I would divide both sides by negative 1 to give me y equals negative 4. The ordered pair 0, negative 4 is the y-intercept. Now because this is a linear equation, I'm able to graph the, graph the equation by plotting these two intercepts and connecting the points. I can plot the y-intercept, plot the x-intercept, and I'll use my ruler to draw a straight line between these two points. So this gives me a graph of 2x minus y equals 4. For this example, we want to graph the equation y equals negative 3 square root of x by plotting points. We're given a list of x's, and we want to find the ordered pairs associated with those x's. And then we'll sketch the graph on this picture over here. So if we substitute a 0 into our equation, we would have y equals negative 3 square root of 0. The square root of 0 is 0, and negative 3 times 0 is 0. So our first ordered pair is the ordered pair 0, 0. We'll do the same thing with the remaining ordered pairs. The next one is an x value of 0. That gives negative 3 square root of 1. The square root of 1 is 1 and negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. So our next ordered pair is 1, negative 3. For the next x, we have 4. y equals negative 3 times square root of 4. That's negative 3 times 2, because square root of 4 is 2. And we get negative 3 times 2, which is negative 6. And our ordered pair is 4 negative 6. And finally, with an x value of 0, we have y equals negative 3 square root of 9. We can simplify square root of 9 to be 3. We have negative 3 times 3, which is negative 9. So our final ordered pair is 9, negative 9. I'll plot these ordered pairs, and I have 0, 0, 1, negative 3, 4, negative 6, and 9, negative 9. I just noticed that I plotted the second point in the wrong spot. I plotted it at 2, negative 3 instead of 1, negative 3. So I'm correcting that. And then I will connect these points. And we get a graph that looks something like this. For this question, we want to write the standard form of the equation of a circle described below. 
Our circle needs to have a center of negative 7 comma 5 and a radius of 7. So in order to solve this problem, we need to know the standard form of a circle. The standard form of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where h and k are the coordinates of the center of the circle and r is the radius. So for r's, we have h being negative 7 and k being 5, and we have the value of r being 7. So I'm going to substitute these values into the equation of the standard form of a circle. That would give me x minus negative 7 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 7 squared. I'll do a little bit of simplifying. I don't want to leave this double negative and I don't want to leave this squared here. So I'll write this as x plus 7 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 49. So this is the equation of a circle with center negative 7, 5 and a radius of 7. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.